actually it's evolving. Our our portfolio is evolving with years, starting from 2005 till today. We evolved our our offering, and we were chasing the technologies to to address the challenges and the trends in the market. So now nowadays, recently two three years ago, we we, we noticed that the need of the market to 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 take the journey of the digitalization and transformation journey, which require a lot of knowledge and a lot of new uh, process to be adapted within the, it comes to the automation and artificial intelligence using the machine learning to do the automation. The normal automation is not uh, sufficient anymore. You need to go beyond the automation and make it in an intelligent way and in using the, all the new technologies of machine learning to adapt with the, with the automation uh, portfolio and vision is uh, around the security. So we are covering the security inside out. Then we have the second division, which is the center cloud. And then we are continuing the journey with the intelligent automation. Automation is there, but how to use the automation in an efficient way. That's why we see this trend and the challenge in the market. So we built today a new division with Stalic called intelligent automation. We built a solid approach around certain technologies and vendors who can complement each other and who can go to market, help our partners address the challenges of the uh, customer the transformations share. Actually, it's two, two type of partners now. We have the traditional partners who work in the security and the center, and they are evolving like, like we do. And this is this partner are there, they will stay. They need to evolve. It's, they are in the market, but they need to really focus and build the, uh, uh, their capabilities and skill set around that. And we are helping them because we adapted a few years ago. We are doing that internally. We got trained ourselves. We got the best technology we applied on ourselves. And now we can help our partners take the journey and help them enable them where we position our solution. There's another set of, of, of new uh, partners who born in that domain. And they are doing this out of the box. And those we are going hand by hand positioning the solution. They need us because of our reach, because of our methodology of going to market. So they need us more into the market reach and sales reach. However, the other uh, traditional uh, partners need us in the technical enablement and take this journey together. Both partners are there in the market, both are there, and our market is really in need for such uh, uh, diversity in the partnerships, because across the region we are covering big region, there is the needs, there is big demand with the huge transformation and, and especially the adapt of cloud adaptation, which got expedited and accelerated because of the pandemic. Now that need, every effort needs, every partner is needed to play a role in that transformation journey. It's a, it's a continuous journey, I, be, I would say still, there is a long way to go and that's why we stepped in, in and we started this journey a few years ago. We, we equipped ourselves, we made ourselves ready we, we, we created a platform. Starlink represents a platform to help customer, vendor, and partner with that journey. So with the partners in particular, we had this enablement learning. Before we set any target or sales uh, approach, we enable them, we train them, we get this concept within the, our, our uh, partner ecosystem, and we go this journey together. We take them from one level to another level, help them in the enablement. Then, when they are ready and are competitive, they can take this planning, business targets, and go with them to the market. So we are taking the journey from them from beginning till they be they can able to deliver the projects across the different technologies. It's so more dynamic. It's very dynamic uh, era. It's a very dynamic domain that we are in. Definitely, will keep evolving. We have our base and core that we always rely on, and has very solid base of technologies and and offering that we will never let. But we will keep evolve. We will get adapt and and transform and get the new. Like we we took a good uh, care when we need to choose a new vendor, new technologies, because we look into five years ahead, six years ahead, ten years ahead. Now we are talking the automation and this automation was we started at three years ago till now we go public, and now we are talking about quantum computing, which is after five four years you will see the technology happening. We start adapting some technologies to address that challenges. So definitely we'll keep evolving. We will never be steady. We are dynamic as the market is. We have our cores and values that we keep, but we keep evolving as well to help the market.